this video, I'm going to show you how you can play with animations in PowerPoint to give that effect of something being almost drawn onto a slide. For example, here in this first slide in this presentation, we're going to have the clouds come up and then the words. Now the first thing you'll need to do is be on the animations pane to work with it and then let's do a preview by opening the animation pane. That opens up this window on the right where you'll be able to play with things like timing and effects by clicking on the down arrow ne next to each animation. Each animation you add will have a little number on the screen on your preview to show what order it comes up in. And if we click play, you'll see that it's going to show up each one of the little clouds and then the words one by one. Now let me show you how you can do that. We'll do it on another slide. This one is about tell a story for brand design and I want the cloud to show up as if it's drawn, this little speaking bubble, and the little stick figure here as well and then the words. So I'll start by clicking on the cloud and the animation you want to use is called wheel. So in the animations tab you click on the down arrow and pick wheel which is right here. And it'll just show up in a circle. We also want that to start as this slide actually starts. So we go into the little down arrow and click on Start with Previous. The point of that is that when you actually advance to this slide, it'll start right away. We also want this little stick figure to show up at the same time. So we're going to have her appear and click on the down arrow again next to her and say Start with previous. Let's also make that last a little bit longer because it took the cloud a little while to show up and then she just appeared too quickly. Press play to preview it and she actually took a little longer than I'd like. So let's have her fade in instead and have the duration be a little bit longer. Now let's click play and then she shows up at the same time. Next, let's make the words appear and the letters one by one. To do that, I'm going to click on the box that has the words in it, highlight the whole box, not just the letters, and for that we want them to appear, but we want them to appear letter by letter. So click on the down arrow next to that animation, then Effect Options, you get a pop-up box, and go to Animate Text. Instead of all at once, I want it to add animate by letter and make it go a little bit slower because otherwise it takes forever for the letters to show up. Click OK and you'll instantly get a preview where it went one by one. We also want that to show up after the cloud. So I'm going to click on the down arrow and say start after previous. Now when I click play you'll get the cloud and then the title but we need these bullet points to do the same thing to show up after the tell a story. So I'll do the same thing, appear, and then we put in effect options. We want the effect options to be by letter and slower. Click OK and it'll all show up. And then again we want to click the down arrow and have it start after previous. So let's preview the whole thing now. Click play. The cloud shows up the title, and then the bullets. And you can read as you're watching it. And when now when you record a slideshow, it's going to show up like that and you can actually read and do your speaking points as you go and adjust the timing on any of them by clicking on that little down arrow or with the timing bar up at the top as well. That's it. Go ahead and try it out on one of your own slides. This particular presentation was based on a theme from Presenter Media that we used for a promo slide share for our new Branding 101 course. I'll post those links below the video. Have fun with it!